I don't want to be here. I want to play Fallout this week on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 169, a show in which your writers have insert coin to begin. Er, <laughs> Thanks, Riz. Get together <laughs> to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Town. But before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Vacation Chachi is back from what? vacation. What did you achieve this week, Chachi? Uh, first off, <coughs> Robert. Yes. I am not Vacation Chachi. Well, I know you're not. I was going to say, what did Vacation Chachi achieve this week, though? Vacation Chachi. Vacation Chachi is gone. Oh. So rip, rip in peace, vacation chat. Yeah. So yeah. Rest, rest in power. Watch, watch <laughs> yourself. Um, no, I beat uh, Call of Duty review coming tomorrow. Nice. Um, uh, we played a ton of multiplayer um, mm-hmm. Saturday uh, that we'll talk about later. Mm-hmm. That is all I did. Cool. Uh, Sword, what did you achieve this week? Oh, basically some Black Ops 3 with you guys. I am rocking through some Assassin's Creed 3. I played a little bit of Dirt 3, actually, uh, of all things. And yeah, I, uh, I uh, jumped into a little bit of a little bit more. Oh, I need to get back to it. There's, there's. I'm trying to unlock Jason in uh, Mortal Kombat X, and I'm, I realize I might have missed my window. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's about it. Okay. Uh, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Uh, well, first of all, Sword, you're missing one gigantic part in that whole uh, looking for group thing. Mm. Uh, before before, before uh, Chachi graced us with his presence, uh, Sorg, myself, and uh, our very special guest, uh, we all took part in trying to beat a small child <laughs> in... In Super Smash Melee. Super Smash wow. Brothers Melee. Hey, you know what you shouldn't say? Beat a small child. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. You, were trying, that yeah. you were trying to beat a small child. Uh, oh. It's not episode 169 for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh. No, seriously. That's terrible. Now we just no. went someplace horrible. No, we, we just went somewhere horrible. Uh, but, but the beating actually was on my end because <laughs> that kid is freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no way, right way I'm to say that. see myself. I'm immature. Now. I am immature. All right, is that all you achieved this week? Uh, no, I oh, okay. did some, I did some Fallout. Okay, and I did some uh, Battlefront, which I will get into on <laughs> Thursday. I believe I'm going to do a review on that one on interquinbegin.com. All right, and joining us, uh, not from New York, our special guest, Mad Mike. Mike, how you doing? What did you achieve this week? Well, technically, I, I am still from New York. Yes, um, yes. But he's here in the studio. I, I am. I'm in the lovely Sorgatron sort of Media Studios, uh, the palatial estate. I had uh, some some champagne outside. Uh, I'll tell you what I didn't achieve this week. I did not achieve learning how to play Call of Duty. Uh <laughs> Uh, but I did. I got to play a little Pokemon Shuffle on my iPhone. Caught a few legendary Pokemon. I actually just came from Dave and Buster's, where I played a few mm-hmm. video games there. Um, I played the Angry Birds game there, where you actually have to shoot a ball at a screen to knock down the the Angry Birds towers. That's a lot of fun. And um, also, I got Zuma for the Nintendo DS, and I was playing it on my 3DS. So I've been playing oh, cool. that. Did did. Did you play um, the Price is Right ticket game? I did not play the Price is Right ticket oh. game only because that doesn't give the maximum amount of tickets that you should. But I did play the Monopoly game, but and I kicked a little so butt fun. at Monopoly. The Plinko game is so fun, though. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. I'm like, no, I don't. I don't feel like sitting there popping in coins. Uh, we got a we get a special achievement from Alex Cars too. Uh, he said he beat Sonic 2 as Knuckles on his iPad, and he's got all the. Er, he, has, he just has to get the rest of the Chaos, chaos Emeralds. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. And he said the cool thing about the game is the save feature. Uh, competing, or completing the game gives me a stage select so I can do this. So that's good. So, um, and I, I achieved this week. I've, I've been in uh, Fallout 4 Wormhole. Welcome um, home, Bobby. Yeah. Uh, awesome game. Mm hmm. Um, I 
was killed by a mutant bear. Mm-hmm. And just last night, a mini nuke. <laughs> That's yeah, always th- fun. Those when you hear it. You. <laughs> and then, like, the screen just lights up. And, you're and, <laughs> and I, I posted this on uh, my YouTube channel, uh, Riz Plays Games. Uh, go, go subscribe to me right now. Uh, but one of the videos I posted was a, I, I hear something out in the distance. Mm-hmm. I hear I hear, heard a noise. I turn towards the noise, and it's Ernest Erdinger, <laughs> almost. And I get blown up by a giant nuke. You know what's really funny? Yes. Is I just interrupted you with a completely nonsensical word, and it <laughs> fit. Mm-hmm. It did. Uh, but we're going to talk about a little bit more about Fallout Four and. Uh, how do you say that? Do you say that? Here, in a, here in a minute. Um, who sent us around the internet? Ernest, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's now time for video game theme Ernest, <laughs> from the internet. <laughs> uh, first up, uh, Code.org is teaching people to code uh, using Minecraft. <laughs> Uh, I put the intro video in. Essentially what they do is in order to accomplish things in Minecraft, you have to learn how to do the things or how to program the game uh, Mm -hmm. in code in order to do it. Um, So the tutorial shows, uh, it says that, well, you know, wood is really good for mine in Minecraft for you to build and whatnot. So uh, type the chop command. uh, Type the chop command (laughs) and, uh, you know, get some wood. <laughs> so, it's going to be like this whole episode. We're sorry. Well, so, <laughs> have you been listening to this show? Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, next up, uh, in uh, if you're unaware and you live in a dark, dark hole, Jimmy Kimmel does a segment called uh, Celebrities Read Mean Tweets, mm-hmm. in which uh, they read mean tweets about themselves uh, on the show. Uh, someone made a video called Video Game Characters Reading Mean Tweets. And it's uh, essentially uh, what it would be like if the video, cam- the video, car- video game characters read mean tweets about themselves. And uh, I, Max Payne is in there, uh, Solid Snake, um, Sonic, Wario, Waluigi, uh, Laura Croft all make an appearance. It's kind of funny. Um, people need to be nicer to Wario and Waluigi, though. Damn right, D- damn right they do. <laughs> well, Waluigi doesn't even have a freaking game yet. The yeah. bad guys. You need Why to be nice that? to them. Bad guys. Uh, I need to preface 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 this next part by saying dips. <laughs> um, uh, and next up. The greatest, and, and I apologize, Riz, because um, I'm saying this in your presence, but the greatest Let's Play creator has been found. Mm-hmm. Okay. I agree with Chachi. Mm-hmm. Uh, 79-year-old grandma Shirley Curry <laughs> is busy creating videos of her Skyrim gameplay and recently started playing uh, Fallout 4. Uh, for the uh, the show or the the videos as well, mm-hmm. and because she is seventy nine, uh, some of the videos that she's uploaded are uh, picture compilation comp- compilations of her quilts. <laughs> very nice quilts too. Though. <laughs> yeah, they look very comfy. Yeah, they, I mean they are great quilts. Um, the reason I called Dibs before I, I started this is because I, I'm I'm claiming her as my grandma. <laughs> and and uh, this is a special special uh, invitation to you to come on Boss Battle mm-hmm. and be with us, <laughs> As and, our and and maybe <laughs> make us like a quilt or something. Yeah. Yeah. Circuitron Media quilt. Yeah. Um, I I I just want I want I want to say that I just wanted to check out a little bit of the video, and I ended up watching like almost all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was like, I have to plan a show, and I have to. That's because she's adorable. She is. Most, she's of, most of the videos, she starts by saying, hello, grandkids. 
<laughs> and I love, I love the part where she's like, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> when she went to battle that mage. Uh, yeah. And, and she's, she's just so into it. Um, and it's incredible because she, she knows what she's doing as far as playing the game goes at this point. She, and, talks, she talks to Janessa like I do. Yeah. And, and she, uh, and she's one of the smartest people on the internet mm-hmm. because her, her fans or uh, her commenters aren't mean to her because she's 79 mm-hmm. years old mm-hmm. and she's a grandma and they're constantly giving her advice on how to make the show better. And she listens. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, like you mean someone's actually, actually giving you videos comments? Where she said that people have been telling her how to set up her microphone in order <laughs> to make her come across more even. I want to watch. I want to watch her knit a quilt just so I can say GG <laughs> after like Bob Ross. And like when she pricks her finger, you are like oh, oh. wrecked. <laughs> yeah, wrecked. Do you guys mean there's someone on the internet that's actually giving good f- constructive feedback? Mm-hmm. Every every I, single person on her YouTube channel. Yeah. I didn't think you that was a be, thing. You just got to be a 79 year old grandma. We, yeah, we, you, we, uh, exactly. We've unlocked a secret. She is now the gamer's grandma. Mm-hmm. Like she is the grandma that we all want. I, I I have to state that I love my grandma very very much. She is my favorite person in my family. But she needs to share with this lady. There's room for two. <laughs> yes, there, there no, are. No, Chachi, for, Chachi. There's an easy solution. The back off. No. Chachi, <laughs> you just off. need to teach your grandma how to play Fallout. <laughs> yeah, my grandma couldn't do that. You don't or, know that, Chachi. Older people are resourceful. And say, play it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, she. Uh, this is this is my grandma. Your grandma could be the next person on Elders React. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's all I have for you this week in video games from around the internet. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that the quote video was actually attached to the article. Here it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, Those are I, some I fantastic point. quotes. I had to put a quilt video in there. Those are nice quilts. Mm-hmm. Very nice. They look very comfy, like I said. All right. Now it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Hey, guys. Remember Bubsy? Yes, I yeah. do. He's uh, back well, in Pogsley. Steam... likes that game. If Steam has any say in it, he's going to make a comeback. Uh, one of the games up for Steam's green light is a re- reboot of the beloved... Mascot cat character uh, during the 90s platformer craze. Uh, oh my god, yes. Warning, explicit cat puns ahead. <laughs> so if you're, DJ, is, if, you're, if you're DJ Lunchbox, you might want to mute us right now. This is very, this is perfect for me. Bubsy perfect. Twofer. That's T W O F U R, is oh. a collection of. The platformer's first oh, two games man. that were released on the 16-bit consoles back in the day. The collection collects Bubsy in Bubsy in Claws Encounters of the Third Kind, mm-hmm. and the We Didn't Even Try to Come Up with More Cat Puns Edition Bubsy Two uh, for four ninety nine. The re-release the re-release is being made by Retroism, and is up for vote on Steam Green Steam Greenlight. Uh, so you can go to Steam Greenlight and vote for it if you want it back. Not sure why. If if uh, not sure why, Bobby. Bubsy was not that great. This is this this game is pure nineties joy. I don't and know. You, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, but but retroism, like Sega Channel. Mm-hmm. Well, you had the Sega Channel. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> were you the only person in America that had the Sega Channel? No. There were a lot of people who had Sega Channel that don't want to admit they had Sega I Channel. I think I had Sega Channel now that I think about it. And you were the coolest kids oh, in school. Man. Yes, I was. That shit was online before online. It was really even a, not a thing. That and see, I really wanted really the Sega thing. Channel, but it was never available mm-hmm. where we lived because no. rednecks. <laughs> <laughs> we just got internet yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Retroism is having a. Let me let, 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 let me qualify campaign. that with Chachi a little bit. Oh. We didn't even have a local AOL dial-up number. Wow. Yeah, that's did, very true. Did you use this for the free discus coasters? 
We'll have a whole other podcast about what I did with the free discs, right, Chachi? Like everybody, <laughs> only could, internet we had podcast. was <laughs> only internet we had was inside our bathing suits. It was the internet and no. Oh, Bobby, take us somewhere else. <laughs> All right, uh, Retroism is, is also having a hashtag Save Bubsy Twitter campaign to bring the character back. So, kudos to them, I guess. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> hey, no, if they can make a gem in the they, holograms they tried, movie, we can have Bubsy back. They tried with uh, um, Night Trap, and that failed. They're doing it with yeah. Friday the 13th. Yeah. Which, why, not, why not bring back that Bubsy? That minute's goal. Friday the 13th minute's, minute's yeah, goal. I, yeah, why not just bring back Bubsy? Because it's Bubsy. All right, moving on. <laughs> well, with a new Fallout game being released this last week, comes new mods. And we're going to take a look at a few of the best ones so far. Um, the first one is a new take on the old favorite weapon, the Fat Boy. Uh, well, instead of using a mini nuke, somebody took the baby from the beginning of the game. Oh, no. And places the baby in, in, in the Fat Sean. Boy uh, to become... The weapon, yes. Uh, baby, babies are now nukes in the game. Oh, baby Sean, no. Baby Sean is a mini nuke. Um, so yeah, there's Sean. that. Um, next up is uh, Bot Lanners Creatures Creature Follower. Uh, this mod lets you pair up with one of uh, Fallout's mutant creatures in the game as a companion. You can have either a Death Claw, which is pretty awesome, mm-hmm. a Yao Guai, a Gen Synth, Gen Two Synth, a Cat. A mutant hound, a super mutant behemoth, a raider dog, a gorilla, a rad scorpion, uh, or a vicious dog. Uh, they can have full follower features, excluding the relationship chat. <laughs> oh. um, they can. Uh, they do not take up an extra follower slot, which is good. Uh, so you can technically technically have two followers. So you can have Codsworth and a Deathclaw, if you will. So, so Bobby, static. you're you're playing the game, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have a follower, or do you, are you alone? I have uh, dog meat. You have dog meat. Dog meat is my is my boy. He got me the the cryo gun from the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, and and I know it's cheating. Don't care. The weapon's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, funny story about Fallout Two, um, or Fallout Four. But <laughs> um, when I went to install the game on Friday night, I purchased it. I inst- it installed all night, and I fell asleep during the title screen of the game. That's how tired I was. <laughs> I didn't even get to play it the first night I installed it. I went all night long for it, and I fell asleep. But you probably have no di- no nothing left on it too. No, what that, do you mean? Like no uh, save space left either. On the hard drive? Yeah. Yeah. You do? I, yeah, it didn't take up much room at all. Hmm. Really? I got a, I got two hard drives there, so. Oh, I got 1.5 uh, te- terabytes. That's very wow. Yeah. So, all right, and somebody also made a David Ortiz Red Sox player mod for Fallout 4, uh, where you bash enemies dressed as a Major League Baseball slugger. The slugger. Uh, but, but the MLB was angry about it, so they kind of probably did something about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's probably not going to be a mod very much longer. And uh, but by the way, this, I'm going to sidetrack again here. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Bobby. Uh, the way they they did uh, Fenway Park in this game, it's unbelievable. How, like, I haven't got there yet. Oh, it, it, it's a whole town inside the ballpark. Oh wow! Yeah, and you can tell it's they did a lot of time on this one. Hmm. It's amazing. Cool. Just want to throw that out there, Bob. And finally, somebody modded their dog into Fallout. Seven uh, I G E R. I think it's like Tiger, pronounced Tiger, probably. Um, took textures from his dog Pirate, uh, which is a Kelpie blue cattle dog mutt, and uh, replaced dog meat with him in the game. The mod looks like his real dog, and even has the same skull bandana in the game as his dog does in real life. So that's kind of cool. All right, and I hear you guys played a little bit of Call of Duty this weekend. Let's get to it. Uh, you guys want to talk about? Looking for group? Uh, it was <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a good time. I mean, it was my first time down at the at looking for group, and it was fun to you know play with some guys that are actually there. I mean, I mean, we played 
Call of Duty before, but we never actually like sat in a room together and trash talked each other together in a room together where we can physically punch somebody for saying something or, or beat off kids. What? No, what? I didn't no. What? No, Bobby. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I did not say that, Bobby. <laughs> Beat kids at Smash Bros. I said beat kids. No, not, not the no, other one. Bobby, you weren't listening. We weren't able to beat a kid at Smash Bros. No. They, <laughs> the, kid, the kid beat us, Bobby. Yeah, I she came the closest. Her. I came the closest. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I almost beat him. With, I, I got I got a kill with um, uh, Mr. Game & Watch, but that was it. Um, but, but going back to Call of Duty... It was a fun time. I, I really like going down there, and it, 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 it's interesting. If you're in the Pittsburgh area, go down to uh, looking for a group. They're pretty awesome people. Yeah, and we played uh, three hours for ten bucks. It was a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. I price. had I had never played Call of Duty before, ever. <laughs> um, so it it was it was an experience. New experiences, Mike. Yeah, I mean, I, and I had never met Riz in person before either, so I got yeah, to... Yeah, you like, have. No, I haven't. Where? Yeah, you've... Uh, Where? You, were, you tasted uh, Sorg's, Missy, Missy Sorg's cooking. Oh, that's right. I mm. totally forgot about that. Okay, but anyway... Yeah. Um, I almost but, said uh, you tasted my balls, but that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> Erder, sir, der, der. That's what we're talking der, about. Der, um, der, der, der. Hey, how many how many games did I lose, guys? Oh, um, let's see. There was a lot fewer you, than me. You you lost to <laughs> Sword like twice. Maybe, no, Sword was Sword won like three. I think I won twice. No, I lost two games the entire day. Uh, you, you don't count that last one. No, I don't. You really don't count that last one? <laughs> I, I got booted twice from the game. I don't see how that could possibly count. Ch- you, I, I want to point out, Chachi third. got booted twice from the game and still destroyed me. Yeah. <laughs> I got booted twice from the game and only finished 60 kills below Riz. Mm-hmm. Who won that game? Who won, by the way. Who won the game, by the way. You, you forgot to mention that part when you were when you were talking about that one, but I uh, know. Uh, by the way, Chachi, you are amazing at this game. I know. I mean, I mean, you played it on a system you don't have. <laughs> that, that's the here's. Uh, I, I like looking for group. It, it's a, a very cool place. Um, you left out that it's in the Brookline neighborhood of Pittsburgh. Um, yeah. It's a very cool place. I just wish that they had more. Right next to the cannon. Uh, I, I, I like, wish that, like a bigger look, a bigger place. Yes, be nice. yes. Because I, I, if I went there, it would want I would want to be like, I would want more people there. Mm-hmm. And, and it was hard enough finding four machines not in use for us all to play. Mm-hmm. That was a fun time. Yeah, it was. I, I had a lot of fun. And I think everyone had a lot of fun. I, even Mad Mike, who doesn't play Call of Duty, yeah, it was seemed to have fun. And, and that's the thing. They, they, they do say that they're kind of um, trying to figure out what gets played the most uh, so they can expand out. So, I mean, that's that suggestion. Let them know. Be like, hey, I wish you had more Xboxes or whatever the case may be. And and, and I think they're going to take that into consideration as they expand. And you saw they have a, lot, a bit more room that they can install more of whatever they need, right? Uh, so, and I need them to ship me a chair. <laughs> <laughs> they they did have some awesome gaming chairs there. Like I have a gaming chair here, and I'm sitting sideways on, but it, it does not have a swivel like the other one does. Yeah, like I, I want to, I want the, the the little stand for it. I want to swivel on it. I'm gonna make it, it was it was a nice chair too. It was comfier than this chair. They also had a great uh, rock band set up right in the front of the store, and I think sorry, they're doing like a battle of the bands for rock band. Right? They are. I'm trying to get a team together for uh, for uh, this weekend, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so, you had to have uh, the two guitar team. players, the drum player, and what a microphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. So you have to have all four people for your band, but two turntables. And, and it was it was the first time I actually got to see. 
uh, an actual steam machine live. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen pictures, I've seen videos, and I, 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 I saw the Alienware uh, version of it, and I really want to buy it, but I don't have the uh, money for it. So it, it is a it is a very cool thing to look at, and that was a big thing because uh, the reason I, I had everybody come down was I, I I you know we have different consoles. I'm not buying a new console anytime soon. Right. Uh, some of us have Xbox One, some of us have Wii, some of us has have Playstations. So we're not getting together and playing Call of Duty like we used to, right? Like all together, you know. And it was it was mm-hmm. great. Uh, so I figured this was a good chance to one check the place out and and just be like, hey, let's all play a game together. You know, we're mostly local. Mike's in town, special occasion. Let's go do this. And, and I like to do it every once in a while. Like, this is a team building exercise, you guys. And yeah. uh, I thought it was really cool with that. And, and I'm really kind of looking forward to have a chance to maybe experiment with some other games that they have there uh, and, and maybe doing a rock band competition. You know, it's not, and it doesn't feel like, I, I don't feel like if I go to a competition there, I'm going to be completely outclassed <laughs> in most games, you know, like versus yeah. like other things that might be going on. Like, like these are just other people that play the game and I may, might be okay until that. And kid, like I said, next time I go down there, I'm bringing my amiibo set mm-hmm. and i'm gonna face that kid again and see if he can do it that's the thing some people bring their own games to play there you know or whatever the case may be or or i have this game and i have a pc to run it or, or something like that and they do have if they do have a lot more pcs so we could potentially uh, have a, a little bit bigger of a run on on, on that kind of thing uh, but of course they don't have call of duty so they had a train simulator game. they had a train simulator we talked about the train simulator on on the interview with them actually mm-hmm. on awesome chat you guys can check out awesomecast.net. And actually, it is linked over on insertcointobegin.com as well. Um, but uh, no, I, I, I think it was really cool. And it, and I did, it felt good for 10 bucks to sit down yeah, on a console for, for three bucks, hours. 10 bucks for four hours. Yeah, three, three hours. Three. Three, 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 hours. Yeah, three hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it's like 20 bucks and you just go all day. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Like, especially because I don't, like, I personally am not going to get a PS4 or an Xbox One anytime soon. It was fun to, you know, try it more than uh standing at best buy and having a guy say sir Ooh. you've been at that demo for too long <laughs> and that's the other thing Bye is now. um please, please I, step away from the, last the i knew one. demos for like xboxes are non-existent um Probably, it depends like i have like they're not at walmart's i hadn't seen them at best buys best even buy, yeah. Maybe yeah, they are. There's one at Toys R Us. There's one at Toys R Us, <laughs> right? So uh, but but the, <laughs> i i don't go to Toys R Us. There's not one immediately next to me or anything like that that i end up at to just try it out i'm not gonna go just into a toys r us to play an xbox one you know what i mean you'd be surprised at the amount of people that do that i figure a lot of people probably do yeah i actually had to run a demo on the xbox one for uh the skylander superchargers game yeah so that that was my first experience with an xbox one because i had to (laughs) learn how to play the game so i can teach our little kids how to do it but uh (laughs) Yeah, like I kind of wish there was something like that in New York where I could just go and play because I would love to play like Battlefront, but I'm not gonna buy any of the advanced systems just to get right. Battlefront. Like, like I would love you to sure do that. No, no, I'm not going to. I'm really not. I'm not even sure. buying 2K16. Why would I buy an Xbox One just to play Battlefront? You know, in a day and age where we're talking about Ubers and 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 sharing and, and uh, economy and everything like that, isn't this kind of a part of it? Like this whole gaming cafe, like ah, uh, just use somebody else's Xbox. We're good. You can log in with your own account, yeah, and have a safe game in the cloud. That's fine. You know, a kid's next, the kid next to us was playing Uncharted. You know, <laughs> That's true. Uh, the, the train simulator. Uh, the, the, somebody brought in a GameCube to play that Smash Brothers. <laughs> So uh, well, actually, I think he had a regular no, Wii. It was he a just, Wii. No, no, yeah, no, you're right. It was a Wii. The GameCube did. Yeah, it was a Wii. Yeah, yeah, and they're playing the GameCube version, of course. Um, so yeah, yeah, I love I love that he explained to me how it could play GameCube games, and I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, mm-hmm. okay yeah, he, well, the he, funny he drew thing in, was uh, Ryan. Um, that was the little kid's name. That was, by the, the, way. That was the little kid's name. Uh, Ryan was very helpful uh, towards <laughs> Mad Mike. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, he helped. He helped everybody but Chachi. He tried to help everyone but me. I'm good. I'm good. To I'm good. Everyone and I tra- kept trying to explain to this kid that I know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm gonna have to call Ryan out on this. Ryan did not help me for anything. <laughs> yeah. I was actually he doing did. better before he started <laughs> futzing with my weapons cache. Like, and then as soon as he started messing with everything, I'm like, oh no, this doesn't work for me at all. 
<laughs> and, the, and the funny thing is, he tried to call next game at yeah. one point. Like we were, we had it. We had like the guy knew why we were there. Mm-hmm. We had that block of system set up mm-hmm. for us. And this kid comes over, tries to help Mike, tries to help Sword, tries to help Riz. I tell him no immediately. <laughs> and then he's like, all right, well, I got next game. No, you do not. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll have to wait three more hours. Yeah. You got this. Yeah, I'm like, no, I'm sorry. We paid for three hours. We're here for three hours. Right, right. It, it, this isn't like an arcade, right? There's, you don't put yeah. a quarter on the machine to get next. Um, yeah. I mean, well, uh, that's the thing. He didn't even put a quarter up. No, he no. Put ten bucks up. He's like, <laughs> I got next. <laughs> had he had he walked over to a TV and like put a a quarter on the 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 bar, I probably would have walked gotten up. <laughs> you honor the quarter. It made me wish there yeah, was an I, NBA Jam machine there. Yeah. <laughs> like I probably would have honored the quarter, uh, and <laughs> just because he was respectful enough to do it. Just be like, all right, respect. But Chachi, you would have. <laughs> Taking that quarter too. Oh I mean, yeah, let, let's be oh, yeah. honest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, no, yeah, nobody that. here, nobody in this, in this, in this uh, podcast would not take that quarter. <laughs> oh no, that would have been my quarter. Oh my, <laughs> I would have called dibs on that quarter. All right. Well, it sounds like you guys had a good time, so that's that's cool. Um, but moving on. Nope, we're still talking about this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, they ha- no, seriously though, they have board games and stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, uh, and a collection of board games, so you don't have to buy a board game anymore to try, you know, plays like this. And board games are expensive. They have. Ten bucks. Can't be expensive. They're playing Munchkin in the back. I know we noticed. So there's also Snake Oil. I, I, I saw videos about Snake Oil. It was a pretty cool, cool game to play. Okay. <laughs> also, uh, and, and they're and they're playing on the big screen in the front. Uh, just the Twitch channel of Dota too. Uh, yeah. of some esports stuff wow. so that was kind of fun so it's like completely immersive uh they have all the sodas and monsters and stuff you would want there uh it's and and, and just candy too yeah. like they got they got all the stuff and sort uh, this was the first time you saw uh smash brothers on a big screen tv wasn't oh it? it was the first time i saw like the new smash <laughs> brothers in general mm-hmm. and then on like a 50 inch tv or whatever yeah. it, it was glorious it was oh. fantastic yeah. That, that, that was a nice TV. And of too. course, someone was named John Cena. And yeah, they were. They were. He was trolling everyone in the game. It was pretty great. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it wouldn't be episode 169 <laughs> without it getting a little dirty. <laughs> and by dirty, I mean people doing dirty by abandoning Pornhub. And oh. hi. That's right. Uh, due to the release of Fallout 4, Pornhub, the golden corral of adult content, Said that traffic amongst <laughs> gamers. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You're just, you're just gonna glaze. Yes, I am. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> let, let's be fair. The Golden Corral of Adult Entertainment. <laughs> it's like a buffet. Pornhub is at least the sizzler of adult entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a buffet. Wow. Golden Corral Maybe sounds like a category terrible. you'd be able to search for on Pornhub. Maybe it's Ryan's. <laughs> All of those sites are like that, Bobby. I know. <laughs> I just wanted but to I say heard. the Golden Corral. Wait, 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 wait. From, from, from what I heard. Not, 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 not that I follow <laughs> any of the Yeah, I mean, sites. I've I mean, never I, actually been to any of these sites. No. But, no, yeah. I've been on the sites. Come on. We all have. There's, there's no, no shame in our no, game no. here. <laughs> it's episode 169. We're allowed to admit these Mike. things. I am, am an upstanding citizen of the community. I, I give back. Uh, <laughs> of course I give. Anyways. Shaji plays with kids. Anyways. Whoa. Whoa. No. You played with Ryan at the Ford? at the thing. Can we and looking move for on? groups. <gasps> How about that story? Pornhub said that the traffic among gamers overall, not overall, uh, was down on the, the site for that day, the, the day the Fallout was released. Uh, in a graph released by the site, yes, they made graphs, it shows the site's traffic dropping significantly at 4 a.m. Eastern on November 11th, around the time the most who downloaded the game and didn't pre-download the game probably finished installing it. Uh, Pornhub also says that it... it it, this isn't an overall traffic figure. Um, it's traffic from gamers, which says the data is based off. Uh, 
anonymized <laughs> affinity <laughs> statistics from Google Analytics. So it's good to see that they're using some science with this. They're using their science. Well, you, you know why they're why, why they have the the dip in searches, right? Or dip in views, right? Because hmm. if I'm not mistaken, Pornhub was the site. Well, yeah, we're going to get to that. Really, okay. Uh, Corey Price, one of Pornhub's VPs, said, As huge fans of the game, we can't say we blame anyone for swapping Pornhub time for Pip-Boy surfing instead. Uh, we would have done the same thing. But like Riz said, this isn't Fallout's first time on Pornhub. Uh, the, 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 the two have no, this, this is not the first time the two have been linked. Um, it should be noted that back in August, someone leaked some shaky cam footage from Fallout 4 from Gamescom to the website due to it being taken down on other video sites like YouTube and all those other ones. This was the only one that would allow <laughs> it to be on there because it had no place being on there. Um, but you know what you can do while still playing Fallout, Sorg? Um, oh, I think Mike's got this one. What can you do, Mike? Um, you can eat slice on Broadway, Sorg. Yes, you can. Oh dear lord! Um, so, when when did you first introduce me to Slice on Broadway? Oh, like a couple of years ago. Yeah, um, I've been dreaming of Slice of Broadway since then. <laughs> I came in, and uh, immediately I was like, "Where's the pizza?" And Sork just pointed me to, you, you know, like in Aladdin, where genie sing friend like me, and there's like a huge column of food. There were just stacks. Of slice on Broadway boxes, and I've pretty much eaten a lot. Like it's it's bad. I may, I don't even know if the Uber is going to be able to pick me home. I may have to just get a tow truck. Uh, slice on Broadway is just that delicious, and I I'm from New York. I, I know pizza. Slice on Broadway is the best pizza I've had in Pittsburgh, and it's fantastic. And it's over in Carnegie. Ha! Carnegie. Carnegie. No, nope, nope. You Carnegie. guys are wrong. We, we do this every time you hear yep. it's Carnegie. No, 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 because I'm not being negative about it. It's Carnegie. It's Mad Carnegie. Mike. Yes. Uh, listen. Uh, normally I would let you go. Um, if we were in New York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, you are in Pittsburgh, sir. Andrew Carnegie built this town. Uh, you will pronounce his name correctly. I, I am <laughs> pronouncing his name correctly. So, in New York, you can pronounce it however you weird-ass people want to pronounce it. <laughs> you're in Pittsburgh, uh, you will pronounce it correctly, sir. Okay, so so anyway, go, go to Slice on Broadway. For all, for, all your, for all your cheese pizza, your pepperoni pizza, your sausage pizza, and that, like all of that. Did I say that right? So that's, that's, that's close enough. Yeah, I figured. Yeah. Right. You jag off. That ad went <laughs> so off the rails. I <laughs> and with that, let's see what happened last week in Sorgatron Media. Um, all of the Android Priv Instagram photos with funny captions that other people made up. Uh, uh, maybe I laugh and smile and order a bunch more pillows on my phone and this relationship will become bearable. <laughs> you give me a tiny person? What's wrong with his arms? He's got lines sticking out of his arms. Uh, Matt Carland, our friend in the mainstream media, is doing a real great job case here. And it's also a very visual kind of thing. Uh, so you can get a nice... There's a, there's a chick just getting blasted in the face. There you go. I don't even know where that was or who that was. But you can go explore it over on IndieWrestling.us <laughs> slash blog. <laughs> Guys, I feel really bad. Sonic got hit by a car this week. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> All right, we we really did a lot last week. Um, thanks to everybody who listened, and and uh, we're gonna get to the final battle question here. All right. Mm -hmm. Nintendo had its latest Nintendo Direct last week. Uh, they had a lot of surprises. Um, Nintendo announced that Hyrule uh, Warrior Legends is coming to the 3DS, and we'll have a new female version of Link named Linkle. Kind of cool. Um, something I was really excited about as a Dragon Quest fan, Dragon Quest Seven, and one of my all-time favorite games, Dragon Quest Eight, are coming to the 3DS in North America in 2016. 
Uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow are coming to the 3DS Virtual Console, and we'll have tradable Pokemon just like back in the day, only you don't need a cable to, to trade this time. Um, Fire still, Emblem? What's that? I still want the cable. <laughs> you still want the cable. Why? You are the Sega channel, so it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Fire Emblem Fates was also announced. Uh, Star Fox Zeros is coming to the Wii U in April of 2016. Uh, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam is coming to the 3DS January 22nd. Pokémon Tournament will have Amiibo support and will be out for the Wii U in 2016. Uh, Zelda Wii U is still coming, Chachi, in 2016. And will have Amiibo functionality, they announced. And in other making Chachi angry news, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD is coming in 2016. No, I'm okay with that. Okay, me too. I, I never, uh, I never got to play it for a week. Oh, oh, good. Um, so to me, it's still a new game. Good. But and finally, the the announcement that just took over the internet and just made people lose their collective minds. Uh, Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy VII was announced for Super Smash Brothers. Um, if you're like me, you went online and watched some of the reaction videos. <laughs> Holy mackerel, <laughs> people are like lose their minds. Interesting stuff there. Um, but the final question, final round question here, what are you most excited from this Nintendo Direct, and do you think Nintendo did a good job in their first Nintendo Direct since the passing of Mr. Wada? Um, I'm still, I, I still am not sold on uh, Zelda Wii, on the Wii U yet. They didn't really show much again. They, they showed the same picture over and over again like the same video that they showed millions of times in that same location with the same horse with the same opponent and the same link in the same mountain range and the last time they showed this they mentioned that hey we're gonna push this back it's just gonna so, be that <laughs> so i'm just i'm nervous that it's gonna happen again it's gonna be like desert bus only it'll be so, viral <laughs> oh, <laughs> it'll man, just be walking on the horse um, but, but I, I am really excited for, uh, for cloud or for, yeah. 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 I had to think there because I was like, wait, Fox is named the cloud. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited to play as uh cloud. Uh, I haven't played as Ryu yet, which I need to start popping those, popping the, uh, smash bros back in there, mm -hmm. uh, and train my uh, other guys for their, for their, duel with Ryu. Um, but other than that, I, I, I think they did pretty good for their first one sans uh, Wada. I thought the new guy was a little strange, but we'll have to get used to him. I mean, that Wait, I, animal, I did, yeah. the Animal Crossing video of him eating all those donuts was just like, what? <laughs> was, was, like, Reggie, was Reggie in anything? Yes, Reggie was the one that yelled at him for eating all the donuts. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. Because uh, those, were his, those were his donuts, Bobby. Yeah. That's why. Reggie Smash. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite thing, like I said, was the the Dragon Quest Eight announcement for uh, 3DS. Since I have a 3DS, and Dragon Quest Eight is one of the few RPGs I actually beat. Guys, yes, I beat the game. When? Uh, back when it was on the PS2. Which was. Which was I don't even <laughs> so, know. So long ago. It was, exactly. but I, I beat Final Fantasy X and Dragon uh, Dragon Quest VIII around the same time. Um, Dragon Quest slash Dragon Warrior has been one of my favorite franchises for like the longest time, and that was my favorite entry into it. So I'm I'm excited. That's that's what I'm most excited about. Chachi. Um, Zelda. Yeah. I, I'm pissed off that that they still haven't released the Zelda game for the Wii U. Um, but I'm excited that they did decide to re-release Twilight Princess because, mm -hmm. like I said, it's the only Zelda game I've never played. I haven't played Skyward Sword. I bought it, but never played it. All right, Bobby, stop talking. Sorry. <laughs> Riz, Riz, finish the show. Well, I, uh, hold on, hold on. I, I guess. Oh, what I'm I, sorry, I, Mad Mike. Yeah, Mad Come Mike. on, Chachi. You gotta remember, Urter Sterner's here. I, I, for, Sterner, uh, Nerner. I forgot about Erner Sterner. Hey, Sword, um, why is his name not Erner Sterner on there? It it did. It was too many characters. He almost didn't you have a title, so. 
<laughs> no, we didn't. There was the, the so wait, 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 explain it. So there was the the username yeah. that you happened to be on on, on your Xbox, yeah, or the, PlayStation. Like every like all of you guys had really um, generic names like LFGPGH one two zero whatever, mm-hmm. and my username just happened to be Erder Stern and <laughs> I just looked at him like. Is my name Murder Sternerner? And he was like, "Yeah, it was just Turner, an account Turner, that we had Turner, made Turner. for here." And so that became kind of our rallying cry almost every time I killed or I killed someone or got killed, which happened <laughs> quite a bit. Uh, usually the latter, but uh, yeah, it was just like we've been saying it ever since. We even typed in like messages to each other back and forth mm-hmm. and stuff. So I, if I ever do change my Twitter name, it will be at Murder Sternerner. Yes. 4883. All right. Anything <laughs> else about Nintendo Direct? Uh, yeah, I I am excited for uh, Star Fox because they announced oh, yeah, that for Star, April Star now. Fox. They pushed that back. Yeah, uh, they, 2016. Yeah, 2016. It was, it was there. Yeah, it was in, they, it was in the thing. they announced it for April. My birthday's in April, so mm-hmm. I'm I'm looking. Good. That might they be a showed, good birthday present. They showed more of that than they did of Zelda. Well, they had a right. working prototype of. Star mm-hmm. Fox at um, the last e- E3, I think. Like I remember seeing a lot mm-hmm. of stuff from it. So I think they're for, I think they're further along with that than they were with Zelda. But I'm really excited for it because it looks like it's going to be a fun game. It does look amazing. Like, like I, I was playing Battlefront just a little bit ago, and the uh, the squadron, the the, uh, the dog fights in this game are very very uh, Star Fox. Star Fox esque, like the, the way you do barrel rolls to escape the missiles, the, barrel roll. the, the, the flyovers, the fly unders. It, it's it's pretty pretty well versed in Star Fox stuff. Can't let you um, do that, Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Anybody else? Take us away, Bobby. All right, that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can join us or you can visit at us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com. Sorg, you any plugs? Let's get on a mute. Hey, uh, no, we talked to Tech Shop Pittsburgh over on AwesomeCast.net coming up this Thursday on the Awesome Chat. Uh, when we, uh, as I, I think, in the theme of this, uh, please check out that Sawtooth Willie that came out this week because um, <laughs> it's about hobo porn. Of course it is. <laughs> that is the golden crown of adult entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. that, that was that was it, wasn't it? Was it? No, because everybody had this Riz. look. Riz, any plugs? Uh, go to uh, Riz plays games on YouTube. Subscribe, like my videos. Uh, I just finished my unmechanical uh, video series. Uh, it's a freaking awesome game to play. Um, and also, I am in the middle, and I'm closer to the end of the. Uh, the first story in the first episode of Minecraft. So the story mode, which is pretty, pretty good as well. Uh, so check that out at Riz Plays Games. Uh, also, we have my review on Battlefront coming out soon. Uh, so stick around for that one. And that's pretty much it. All right, Chachi, plugs. Uh, 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 you put me on a spot. I was not ready for this at all. Uh, um, tomorrow, uh, Call of Duty review, and um, Riz is gonna post some stuff um, this week. Yeah, and I'm on Chachi says on on Twitter, <laughs> and and, and, and Riz is gonna post some stuff. Yeah, too. and Riz is gonna post some stuff. Uh, you know, later this week. Mike, any plugs? Uh, yeah, you can follow me at Mad Mike four eight eight three on the Twitter machine, and uh, I also am on the Midweek War. If you like uh, wrestling talk, uh, we come on every Thursday night. We've got one episode about Ring of Honor, uh, one episode about TNA, one episode about NXT, and there, we we're sanctioned by Lucha Underground at this point. So mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> you, you probably should listen to it because I'm not saying we're part of canon, but we're pretty close at this point. <laughs> And hey, uh, Riz is going to post something later this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, um, I am. I am. 
I'm, just just so you guys know, I'm going to post some stuff on insertcointobegin.com soon. Okay. Soon. All right, I'm at Bobby F. J. Tom, and you guys have been awesome. So, uh, 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 what, what, is there anything else you want to say, Bobby? What? No, I'm fine. You, you sure you don't want to say anything about insertcoinvegan.com? But yeah, you, you can check us out there. And and I'm going to post some stuff on there. I may do that in the future. Game over, guys. Game over. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.